Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos. And for today's video, I am working on an acrylic painting that features Rey and Kylo Ren from Star Wars. For my first layer of paint, I like to put down a really thin wash of the colours that I'm thinking of using. This way it gives me an idea of what the painting will end up looking like and that means I can still see the pencil underneath. And once I'm finished doing the first wash of colour, I then go in with a slightly darker colour for the line work and I do this just so that I don't lose the line work too much when I start painting. When it's time to start painting in more detail, I do start with the backgrounds and that's because the backgrounds are a bit looser and this way if I accidentally paint over the figures a little bit, it doesn't matter so much. Just because I haven't, you know, worked in detail on the characters, it doesn't matter if I get a little bit of paint, you know, over the lines a bit, I can always fix that up later. And because the backgrounds are quite loose in this piece, um, this allows me to kind of be a bit more free with my strokes as well. Again, not worrying about painting over the characters. I was going to make the background for Kylo Ren a bit more detailed compared to Ray's. Um, but as I was working on it, I found it a bit difficult just because this would be easier if I had painted the background first and then the character over the top of that. But because I had decided to paint, you know, to paint the characters in as well, this is a bit difficult. So I decided to scrap that idea and I just put in a dark background for Kylie. The centre of the piece is supposed to be two lightsabers, so you've got the white in the middle for both of the lightsabers and then the glow of red on Kylo's side and the glow of blue on Rey's side and I had a lot of trouble painting uh, the, the glowing colours. Uh, working with acrylics, this does make it a bit difficult and if I had proper um, mediums and that kind of thing, I probably could have done a better job but because I don't have those. I found it really difficult, I had tried fixing it a few times and I did end up just kind of leaving it at a point where I was sort of happy with it but ultimately I think it could be a lot better but I didn't really have the time to fix this so I've kind of just left it for how I have it at the end um, but I could definitely um, fix this up in the future if I really feel the need to. Once I'm finished with the backgrounds, it's then time to go in with the characters, which is definitely my favourite part. And for the characters, I wanted to stick somewhat to my own style, so um, I do a little bit of shading on the faces. You'll see here, I'm doing quite a dark shadow on Kylo's face, but I do layer over that um, to lighten it up a fair bit. You'll also notice that I'm sticking to the colour theme of each side, so for Kylo's face, 
I'm adding red tones. this stage the characters do look a little bit funny um, and that's normal for a lot of paintings but here you'll see I'm now going in with some line work and I had this planned all along um, I wasn't gonna leave the face looking kind of kind of weird um, and I think the line work really pulls this piece together and the characters look a lot more like themselves once I add the line work and for this piece I wasn't exactly going for 100% photo realism you know, to look like the actors. I wanted to, um, you know, get their likeness, but I didn't mind so much if it didn't turn out looking exactly like them. Once I'm finished painting Kylo, it is then time to move over to Ray, and I approach Ray the same as Kylo. So I start going in with some shadows, some highlights, working that together uh, for how I want it to look. And for this piece, you'll notice that I'm not doing very harsh um, shadows. A lot of the harsh shadows come from the black line work. black colour that I'm using for the line work, I've made it myself. It is a combination of burnt umber and fallow blue. Before this video ends, I do want to remind you all that I am on Patreon, so if you'd like to support me over there, it's just patreon.com forward slash emmaxmarie, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either, that way you won't miss any of my videos. Anyway, here is the finished painting. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.